Hi, it's Chris Heberlein with Telemechanique Sensors, and today we're going to show a short video on uh, the XUW Vision Sensor and its software, and uh, we're going to showcase the uh, Grayscale tool. So here's the XUW software, and we're going to click the button for Config, uh, which is the Configuration button, and we are going to make sure that we show all the different areas of this uh, screen. Um, it comes with four preloaded images. Uh, we're going to uh, delete these and uh, use a different set of images uh, for this example today. So I've got four images. Uh, there are uh, three, or excuse me, three images. Uh, they are different uh, gray squares. Uh, we have a light gray square, a dark gray square, and uh, kind of a medium gray square. And um, I'm going to click uh, for detectors, choose the gray uh, detector. And uh, I have a rectangular uh, search region. Um, but uh, down here in the tool, I can choose circle if I like. Um, but I'll just stick with square for this uh, example. And um, I can take my cursor and in the area that I'm focusing on, down in the lower right here, it says X, Y, and I, and I is for intensity. So uh, we measure gray, uh, the level of gray from 0 to 255. 255 is pure white, and 0 is pure black. So if I, if I roll my cursor in this area, uh, it stays steady at 128 uh, level of intensity of gray. So for my thresholds, I'm going to have my minimum at, um, we'll say, 110, and my maximum at, uh, let's say, 140. And uh, my result is uh, 100%. It says I can, I can match that 100% on this uh, image that I have here. If I go to my next image, which is a lighter gray, uh, my detector fails because uh, its intensity is 192, which is above the threshold level that I chose. If I advance it one more, I got the dark gray, and its level of intensity is uh, 41, and that's below the threshold that I had set. So the so this detector is a very fast detector. It's about four millisecond uh, cycle time, and uh, you can hone in on a particular area and uh, capture that and create some min and max thresholds for gray and I can determine uh, pretty accurately from image to image uh, that uh, e either matches or doesn't match so uh, it's a very robust uh, fast tool and uh, very easy to set up. Hope this, uh, this uh, video was helpful for you and uh, please check us out on tesensors.com uh, for more information. Thanks and have a great day.